y'all, I love to show my love and creativity through good food, pretty drinks, fun, and laughter, and recording videos of my family members, friends, and loved ones. When the people I love can join me in travel and creating fun memories, this feeds our soul. These lasting memories are what we all wish for. These moments will last forevermore. You never forget when you had something so good. I look forward to y'all coming along and enjoying my passion for food, family, fun, and good times with me. Hey, and don't forget the drinks. I know this is supposed to be a food review, y'all, but it started off as a photo shoot. I was enjoying myself taking beautiful pictures in Atlanta in a new tour outfit with Black History Month Jordans. We had dinner in the movie at Phillips Plaza, and I continued to take some pictures, obviously, in front of some beautiful flowers in the water fountain. This was one of our first visits to Phillips Plaza. We went to Davio's and had the spring roll sampler as our appetizer. So we're in Davio's um, Northern Italian Steakhouse for the first time and we have a, what you call it, spring roll, spring roll sampler. So, so so far we tried a Reuben one, the Thousand Island, next we tried a Buffalo Chicken one, blue cheese. We, we're not quite sure what the last one was, but when we bit into it, both of us made a face, both of us made a face. I couldn't, couldn't get, quite get the taste like of what it was, but it tastes like pimento cheese and a spring roll with um, corn. Did you, what, did you taste any meat in it? Okay. So, our next one, what you want to try next? The uh, chicken parmesan or the Philly cheesesteak spring roll? Okay, you want to say the Philly cheesesteak for last. So, let's try it. That's mozzarella. Mozzarella? Mm -hmm. They didn't put enough marinara on the plate. Mm -hmm. soaked it up. Did you get a piece of chicken? Mm -hmm. Did you just take a piece of chicken? Yeah. That's one of the first things I got was piece of chicken. Like I said, it tastes like, it tastes like a um, mozzarella cheese stick. <laughs> he said, are you going to eat the rest of your pimento cheese one? Uh, no. Oh, like pimento cheese? I do when I expected pimento cheese, but I didn't expect pimento cheese. Okay, only got like, some microgreens. I've never had them before. <laughs> split, split the onion ring. The chicken parmesan went one wasn't that bad. That onion ring almost tastes like um what's that? The varsity, how thin that crust is. Almost tastes like the varsity. I've never had an onion ring that that the varsity was better than, but I think the varsity might have been better than yeah, that. Varsity, like the <laughs> Got more crust than it. Okay, now we're trying. Oh, that was what happened to the man there. He was all down there. Oh, okay. No, they, they do have ketchup. They oh, got, got ketchup, ketchup. Oh, with some yeah, cheesesteak. Oh. Ketchup, this is the Philly cheesesteak. I got the burnt in. Both mm -hmm. of them look kind of burnt, but I think this is, it tastes like that Asian uh, yum yum mayonnaise mm -hmm. and ketchup. Look, with some chipotle in it. I don't know what's the point of having ketchup. I know what's the point of having ketchup with Phillies? I don't eat ketchup on my Philly cheese sauce. But that, that's how they do it with Philly. They eat ketchup on their Philly cheese sauce yeah, in Philadelphia? Yeah, they ketchup on the sauce. Oh, okay. Baby said they eat ketchup on their Philly cheese steaks in Philadelphia. So we had beef short rib, truffle macaroni and cheese. Crab cakes and mac and cheese. No, their crab cakes were not great. Papa Do's would beat them any day. So, these crab cakes, like, we're, we're like crab cakes and calamari connoisseurs. And these crab cakes, they only compare to chops because it has this lemon sauce up under it, lemon mustard looking sauce up under it. But this has more filling in it than chops does. Chops is pretty much like no filling, it's all crab. But 
the ones at Papados taste better than Chops and this place like Davio's because Papados it really doesn't have a filling either but these are creamy and got filling in it you can tell you can tell they're not patted down they scooped out like potatoes or something so these are not that great my first time having real truffles instead of just truffle oil on something. So this is mac and cheese with um, a truffle and they say it just came with truffle oil. I didn't know it came with real truffles. I have never had real truffles. Never had real truffles. Oh my goodness. Like real truffles, it's like a full pile of them too. <laughs> oh my goodness. And this is uh, house made uh, elbow noodles like i'm, I'm fan i'm fanning out i am fanning out never had real trouble that beef short rib is not that memorable we never went back so this is a braised beef short rib braised beef short rib with caramelized onions we also had green beans and guanciale aka bacon all in all we had a great time it was a great date night oh we so cute we enjoyed ourselves. It was their version of chocolate they truffles, truffles but as a courtesy dessert. It tastes more awesome. like a, a brownie, like the texture. The texture a little off-putting, but probably because of the nuts. This is okay. low fat. It tastes like it was made with dates. Davios. It was just Artel not was great. It's a good guy. Amari making a wish. <laughs> I go behind. My baby was so happy and handsome. Ooh, I make him look good, y'all. I'm so glad that he is my best friend and my husband. So today, I had the veal piccata from Margiano's. I made it Oscar set style. Mm. The veal is okay. Not quite used to it. Um, it's taste yeah, I almost put you in the mind of a good fried cube steak but more tender and less grittier it's okay it's just not as flavorful as I thought it would be like a beef type flavor but it's something different I've never had beef before these were different visits but I definitely enjoyed this costume so made a pickup from made a pickup from perimeter mall tonight so after leaving Perimeter Mall, I can cook. Um, toured at Perimeter right. Mall today. Right. Bay and I stopped at Margie. I don't know if he wanted me to get something to eat. So mm -hmm. I got shrimp scampi um, with the angel Just hair now. agiolio. I and I was going to ask him to change it to spaghetti it. because it's I thought bad. angel hair gets too gummy. But hey, they're professionals. Um, and jazz is just perfect. Um, it's not bland at all. With so like I without really the sauce because there's really no sauce on here. It said some kind of lemon sauce, but I can't taste. Probably taste any lemon. It really just taste the what, tomatoes what and garlic. Kind of, um, means that I think that you but go first and then I asked for an extra garlic cream sauce on the side, and she told me about the crazy, um, no, Marsala no, cream sauce. You know, with the little wine, and hopefully obsessed. got a little garlicky taste to yeah. it. Yeah, and I got the so I bruschetta. You, you this is the pear and prosciutto bruschetta, and I got the bacon jam bruschetta. And of course, it came with some nice, what, 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 crusty, you know, beautiful I bread. Oh, I'll help you. No, just nice, go. crusty no, I bread. I, I, got I got some okay. Parmesan cheese from the restaurant on the side. All right, so Bay and I, we love the bruschetta, bruschetta, or however you say it from um, Maggiano's, right? So, you know, and it's so expensive. It's like almost like three dollars a piece of toast. It's like three dollars a piece of toast. And, you know, to get enough for the both of us. And they used to have this braised beef one. They got rid of it. They have the, um, they have a bacon jam one, a pear, uh, goat cheese and prosciutto. I'm um, a prosciutto, um, with arugula and, whew, and they have that one. They have the shrimp one with the corn crema. But I don't like that one because it doesn't have the thick cheese like the other two do. And I know it's different cheeses on the bacon one and the pear one. The pear definitely has goat cheese. The bacon one may have like a ricotta mousse or something like that, but today I'm improvising. So we actually went to Montiano's yesterday, got some toast, and they, you know, how to give you the bread loaves. So took the bread loaves, buttered them up, you know, baked them back off, and 
made some bacon on skewers because I figured it was easy to fry and I had some skewers. So I put them on skewers and I deep fried them. So pretty. And, and I had some pears and a peach jalapeno uh, marmalade or chutney from Walmart. I combined the two, the canned, the canned pears that I just randomly had on the shelf. Probably from a, a food bank or anything, something that, you know, my aunt goes to and gets stuff from. But it comes in half handy because you waste not, you won't not. Like I said, the bread was left over from Marciano's yesterday. Um, we had bacon. This is cream cheese that I had left over from a while. I mean, a, 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 a while ago. I just put it in the microwave to soften it up. Um, had some Parmesan cheese to it that I also had some Maggiano's left over. And I'm going to try to recreate um, copycat Maggiano's bacon jam, bruschetta, and the pear bruschetta. I don't have prosciutto, but the bacon would do. And I don't have arugula, but I'm going to make it work. I'm so creative. So, I am starting to build a bruschetta. So, I added the pears on top. This is after I have broke the bacon off of the skewers. And like I said, this is copycat, but it's also waste not, won't not. Like I said, I don't have um, arugula. But I had the bacon, the pears. And I forgot to mention, I also sauteed the pears with a little butter and brown sugar, including the marmalade. And inside the marmalade, I added some cinnamon applesauce. Um, so, so since I don't have arugula, I do. I want to add some green on top. Since they had green on top, I do have some dry parsley, and I'm just gonna put it on top and make it work. And now I'm going to try the straight up bacon one. Now, when we order ours from Maggiano's, often the bacon jam one and the pear one come in the same container because it seems like they also have the same sweet sauce on them. So I'm going to be doing the same today. Now, I'm not going to put parsley on top of this one because, um, and see, since I broke the bacon off the skewer. It, it's placing better you know you're getting a bigger piece than just getting the one with uh, just baking crumbles um, so since it, since it, the sauce seems to be the same as on the pear one I'm just gonna do the, the pear sauce that I had with the brown sugar and butter just add that without actually adding a pear to it and that'll sweeten the bacon up. And there we go, a bacon one. So tonight, we're hoping that the Raptors take home the win for the Eastern Finals. Yes, we are. We've been rooting for Drake team all this while. Ain't no damn Drake. So, you know, we've been rooting for the Raptors all this while. Milwaukee! No. He only saying Milwaukee Bucks because them Ray Allen's coming out. Exactly! Because them, them Ray Allen 7's coming out. That's all. That's the only reason he ran room for Milwaukee. But I hope the Raptors stay up. They only need one more game to take the series. So this is the perfect snack. This is the end result. That's a bacon one with no pears. I gave him more pear ones because um, he likes the pears. I'm not a big fan of pears, but I think this is going to be delicious. This is the end result of my copycat bruschetta or bruschetta from Maggiano's. The uh, candy bacon one candy bacon one and the uh, pear goat cheese it's supposed to be prosciutto and arugula but we have bacon and parsley on top and it's going to be delicious so these are my last three ingredients for a successful, a successful night tonight for the Raptors the win over the uh, Milwaukee Bucks in the Eastern Conference Finals and um, this is one of the best, one of the best drinks I've ever had. A few years ago, my Bay and I went to a house party um, at our uncle's house and um, had 
peach parmesan for the first time. I had the regular parmesan in before I nearly died because of how strong it was. And this is actually a birthday present. My birthday is February 1st and this is what, uh, May 25th, so I done had it a minute. I'm about to bust that thing open for these Eastern Conference Finals. But it was just peach parmesan and Coca Cola, one of the best drinks I ever had. Turn it. But you know, it's just the God in me. Hey, it's it's easy to love. You know what I'm saying?